Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to talk about Ellen Villa Spring High and Light Bernstein Rooted. It's part of her hair power collection. This wig was sent to me by Wig Studio One for my honest review and I'm really happy to show it to you today. Of course, like I have told you, I'm going to be reviewing darker colors this summer and this whole year. And I'm really excited about this one. I like this color. I've always been curious about it. And so I'm excited to be able to show it to you today. The topics I'd like to talk about today are the cut, the color, the specs, cap construction, and the pros and cons. So let's talk about the cut. The cut is a pixie, a true boy cut, Perfect for the summertime, tons of layers, can't mess it up. Throw, it's truly a shake, throw on and go. Let me show you the back. Super easy to wear a collar with. I really like that and enjoy it. But it really is just a true boy cut with a little bit of height on the top. But like I said, it's getting to be a warmer time of year and I think this will be perfect for it. True layers, just all over layer boy cut. And this color, light Bernstein rooted. Now this is a blended color. Let me show it to you. It's a blended color of light brown, auburn, light reddish brown, and honey blonde. And of course it has a dark root. You really don't notice the rooting that much, which I think if you're not a fan of rooting, you can wear this wig because I don't really think you can tell that the roots are that dark. But look at the highlights. Has a little bit of that honey blonde highlighting working through it. Now, let me tell you the specs. The bang is two, the crown is two and a half, sides two, and nape 1.5. Now this one has a little something extra. It has a piece here that's a tad longer on the side that you could work down some bangs if you'd like and make this more of a little asymmetrical cut if you'd like. Or if you didn't like that, you could easily trim it or put it right behind your ear, however. Okay, I'm gonna slip out of this because I really want you to see the inside of this cap. Okay, I want to give you a good look at this beautiful lace front. I think Ellen Villa does some of the most beautiful contoured lace fronts. The front is opened, and then you have these little pieces of permatease. It's not overdone, but in this style, I think you need it for the lift. Open cap construction in the back, and you have this little disc of monofilament that makes it look just like the hairs growing out of your scalp. Really cute. Open cap, extended nape, Velcro adjusters. Lots of stretch. And again, just a look at this temple to temple, beautiful lace front. Let me show you just another look at the color. I think you can really see the highlights this way. Very pretty. Okay, I'm going to slip it back on and we'll look at a couple styling options. Okay, I'm back in spring high. I think this wig will do wonderful with some John Renault styling cream. Just as we've talked about before, just a little. A little goes a long way with this. I like to warm it up in my hands just a tad and then really get in there and work in some texture. And if you want to spike this up, this is the perfect product to use to do that. You can really make this as fun as you want it to be. I think the lace front is so pretty on this. And it runs all the way over. And why not pull this off your face to really get a look at that lace front? Just make it fun. Now, with this piece that's a little longer, I have a little styling cream on my hands. I could still use that and style this down a little if you'd like to make that, like I said, a little more asymmetrical look. 
or you could use it to pull it back behind your ear if you don't want it. What a fun, easy, perfect summer style. You could always put a headband on. Style it around there, it's cute. Another good, easy, summer casual look. Or if you want to bring this totally down and not have any spiking, you can smooth it with your, just with your hands. Like I said, this is an out of the box, shake and go wig. And you could easily just style this flat and give you that look if you like. But I prefer a little lift in it. And like I said, it has a little permatease, but not overdone at all. Just enough to give you this little lift, give you a little spikiness if that's what you like. If you just want it with bangs, you can do that as well. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do some different styles with a short wig, because you can. But this lace front is so pretty. Just really like trying to get it off my face a little and enjoy that beautiful lace front. Okay guys, so the pros of this, so easy to wear, could not be easier to wear. Simple to style. Now, the only con I can see with this is if you don't like permatease at all, then maybe you wouldn't like this, but I don't think there's enough in here that you're really even gonna notice it. Certainly don't think you're gonna see any. You're gonna feel it a little, of course, because it's in there, as we saw, in that little T-shape. But as you can see, I think you really need it here to give you this spike look if that's what you're going for. It's not overdone at all on the permatease in any way, and that's the only con I can think of if you just are not a fan and you don't want it at all. But otherwise, I just think the pros of this wig are great. The summer's coming, throw this on in the morning and you are seriously out the door in five seconds. <laughs> okay guys, that is my review of Spring High by Ellen Villa and Light Bernstein Rooted. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram and please join our Facebook group called Wig Wisdom. Have a great day and until we meet again, remember, we're all in this together.